performing diaspora to me is really getting to explore this story that is uh, specific to my family and my ancestors' experience, which did cross diaspora. It's about India, it's about San Francisco. Foreign domination means slavery, and that is a curse. So the piece is inspired um, and is based on the story of my great-grandfather, who was the president of the Gadar Party, in, which was based in San Francisco, fighting for India's independence in the early 20th century. We perform or teach translation art forms in a foreign land. What is going to be? Does the old or traditional art forms are going to stay the same? Should they stay the same? It's to me, media is the ideal location, like cross-cultural location, to me to explore my identity. And my story in the Congo, story of, uh, of uh, the survival. I need to go back in time and face my hardship, face my memories, and do this piece about me surviving the war with my family. To me, the piece is really about the love. I mean, that's the primary message of the piece. and. What we try and show is how love can transcend language, movement, um, time. Ultimately, I think the goal of my piece is, is to just serve as a reminder. Women of Congo descent in particular, the world looks at them as victims. You know, the words like rape and genocide uh, come up. but. I believe they're cut from the same cloth as Kim Pavita, who, you know, led a nation. How can we not be outside For me, diaspora is about having a non-land based home. Performing diaspora for me is going gonna, is gonna to be about representing that in a way that is kind of interesting, deep, and new been really empowering to have the opportunity to dialogue and build community with other artists who are within their traditional art forms trying to stretch and take risks. I think the word that captures it is community um, and a global sense of community where our uh, experiences are shared, where we can learn from each other for, for the differences. So. Performing that's what? Yay!